Hello. So I'm going to make uh, three videos now, uh, primarily for MUS 132, um, but these will be available to all students working uh, on composition um, or creative applications. So I'll upload them to every mole project. Um, as you see here, I've got in a folder called MUS 132 videos week four, three folders. So I'm going to take the a sample of a bowl being hit and use Cubase's sampler track to give the sound an extended resonance at the end of the sound. Uh, I'm going to take the speech sound and uh, slice that and put that into Groove Agent to make individual sounds that I could play kind of like a drum machine. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing, but with eight short samples. So this is very much leading up to how you will develop samples to create your final projects from us 132. So I'm in Cubase. I'm going to start with the bowl, then do the speech, then do the multiple source. So here, this is the bowl video. Start with an empty project. And I'm going to put it somewhere. So I need to put it in this folder, bowl sample loop, and immediately save that as bowl sample loop project file. I've checked that uh, my sound is coming in and out of Cubase. I'm happy with all this stuff that we've done before in terms of studio and studio setup. So if I just want to listen to the track, I can add an audio track. I can open the media bay and find the file concerned. Or I can open the pool window and import my file. Oh, there it was. Or I can just drag it from the finder. I'm going to do media open pool window, import, and add this. I know where the file is. I don't want to make an additional copy of it. So I uncheck copy fast to work directory and I click OK. There it is. Let's make this a little shorter. Maybe if I can, maybe I can't. Here we go. And I can just drag it to a track. It'll make an audio track, gives it a name, Bowl 2. That's OK. Right now, if we look up the top of uh, this window here, you'll see Show Hide Left Zone, Show Hide Lower Zone, and Show Hide Right Zone. I want all three of these. And in particular, I could see the Mix Console. I could see the actual editor for this sound where I can do lots more detailed work on the sound itself. But I'm going to uh, want to see sampler control. I can listen to the sound. Ah, lovely. And I can do exactly what this says here. And I drag this down. And it creates now a sampler track. So I mute the original sound. And I've got this on my sampler. And when I play a key on the keyboard, you'll notice that as I play higher, it gets higher and faster. Similarly, slower and lower. But now it's on a sampler, I can just stack chords. Which is rather nice. But once this sample has finished, it's done. I can change in the sampler window the sample start. And I can change a fade in. So now I lose the attack. And all of a sudden, the sound becomes synthetic without us knowing that it's actually a bowl. 
which may be very interesting for us by the time we come to develop this part of the sound, which is the main resonance. I need to extend this window a little bit so I can actually see the loop mode. Right now, no loop, so generate continuous loop. And now you see tags for loop, sustain loop start. So if I start there and I bring this to finish here, Okay, I can hear a click. One of the things I need to do before I do any of this is I need to check this button here, which says snap to zero crossing. This will help eliminate clicks. So let's try again. And now let's do a crossfade between the loops. Well, we can still hear a loop, but maybe we can add just one or two audio inserts to this. In particular, we could add a reverb, a Roomworks reverb. Let's give it something like two and a half seconds of reverb. Got it. There we, are. there we are. That's pretty close to being seamless. But you're going to hear some repetition. And with those effects now, you can create atmospheres that are quite ethereal, say. Useful for sound design and maybe useful for your compositions. <laughs> 